welcome to episode 68 of our Family Travel Australia series. And Merry Christmas! Yes. We want to thank you for joining us this year and we wish you and your family a happy, healthy and prosperous 2021. This week we head to one of the Gold Coast's true hidden treasures, South Stradbroke Island, for a few days of camping in this pristine and secluded natural environment and the boys hunt and gather some fresh <laughs> seafood for Woo! us to cook up one of the island's Yay! favourite dishes, the famous South Stratty Pippi Pasta. Be sure to subscribe and join us for all of the adventure. Merry Christmas! You would probably know by now that we absolutely love our essential oils. They are infused into every area of our life. And so with Christmas just around the corner, we want to share that love with you. And we are giving away 12 beautiful prize packs for you to win. Included in the prize pack is a gorgeous bottle of the Holiday Joy Christmas Blend and one of these funky little diffusers. Oh, how good is that? Now these guys are valued at over $100. We do have 12 to give away. What do you need to do to be in the draw? Simply subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that little red button. And if you want extra points, make sure you're following us on Facebook and Instagram as well. We will be drawing the winners on New Year's Eve. So be sure to subscribe and be in it to win it. Here we are at the end of my 30 day cleanse challenge. Feeling very good about it. Finishing, uh, my starting weight was 91.8 kilos. That is the heaviest I have ever been in my life so far. Uh, my end result after 30 days is 85 0.5 kilos so I lost 6.3 kilos which I think is fantastic uh, the best part about this is that I just feel better my clothes fit I've got a little bit of room in my shirts again uh, my waistline has <laughs> shrunk uh, I'm sleeping better eating better exercising more consistently and most of all set myself up for 2021 to have a better year no matter what uh, th that really is what this was about was about taking some new habits into the new year so I'm feeling Feel like I'm, I'm raring to go for that if you're inspired if you're keen to take this challenge visit our website to find out more details thefeelgoodfamily.com.au thank you so much for your support out there for now bye and enjoy the rest of the episode hello guys we have got all our stuff ready to go to the island what's the name of the island the name is South Stradbroke Island. Yes, also known as Stratty. Yes. Okay, who owns all this stuff, mate? This is a lot of stuff. Us! We own all this stuff. Mainly Mummy? Hey. <laughs> mummy well, may have packed it, but she I... doesn't own it. Everything. Um, We're just being told that this is good yeah. training. Look, so doing they're training. they're doing training as though it's a man overboard, even though it's a hat, hat overboard. overboard. Yeah, watch this. This is the training. Check this out. Yeah, you need my help, Tom. <laughs> 
<laughs> did they do good? <laughs> now mummy's got to put a wet hat on. <laughs> so I think actually I'll just be holding on to it first. Which one? That's our weekly hat overboard. See, we sp spoke, good content, training, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, we've got a bit of an adventure today. What are we doing, Jasper? We are going pippy catching. Yes, we've been pretty spoilt today. Emily and Lachlan, who are the campground managers for North and South Currigy here on South Stradbroke Island, said that they were heading out pipping with a, a couple of their campground co-workers uh, to teach them how to actually catch these little, like they're like clams, aren't they? Yeah. Now, we've never done it before, mm -hmm. so this should be pretty cool because then we're going to cook them up a little bit later, all going to plan, and make a pretty tasty dish, we're told. What's it called? It's called Pippi Pasta. <laughs> Pippi Pasta. So yeah, we're going to be um, hopefully successful. We're going to go give it a go. Yep. Do you think you'll catch any? Yes. Yeah, I reckon you'll be good at this. Basically what we do is you just test test this area for a couple of minutes. If you don't get any, you move on to the next area. If you don't get any, you move on to the next area until finally you get onto a patch of them. And uh, when you get a patch of them, sometimes, honestly, every time you put your hand down, there's another one there. It's, yeah, that, that good, yeah. You can, you can bag out in 10 minutes, you know, so, yeah. Fantastic, all right, let's go give our Pippy shuffle to go, Jasper. <laughs> Found him! <laughs> He's a halfie. Yeah. Wow. Alright, let's try and find the other half. Alright, Jasper. Yes! Oh, <laughs> Woohoo! My first one! It's not gonna exactly feed us all, is it? <laughs> absolutely amazing backdrop. Here we are on the beautiful South Stradbroke Island and the boys were lucky enough to go out yesterday morning pippying with Emily and Lachlan, the beautiful managers here who run the South Courage campgrounds. What they found was an awesome haul of these little babies and after having a good chat with Emily, she's given us a great, easy recipe to really take advantage of this fresh, local seafood. So we are going to be trying it out today. It is the South Stradbroke Pippi Pasta. Now it doesn't get any simpler than this. Our fresh ingredients include a diced red onion, some beautiful grape tomatoes, garlic, we've got Australian olive oil, chili flakes and salt and our Italian linguine pasta and of course we can't forget the hero of our dish, our beautiful fresh pippies. Okay first step is to get our pasta on. It will take about 11 minutes to al dente. So let's get that in the pan. Now 
Now a super important tip is to make sure that you desand your pippies. That is, of course, unless you like extra crunch in your meal. Now a good way that we did this was pop the pippies in a basket and tie it off out in the broad water. You want to do this for at least three hours to allow the pippies to expel all of the sand inside of them so that you don't have any of that in your meal. Okay, so the pasta is cooked. Now for our veg. A little bit of olive oil. And our red onion. We are on a little bit of a lean here on the sand. So we'll just let that fry off for a few minutes and then we'll add our tomato and let that all simmer down together for a further five minutes. Okay, let's add our garlic. Alright, so we're going to add a little bit of the pasta water back into the pot just to create a bit more of a sauce so the pippies can cook. And lastly, our beautiful fresh pippies. Give them a stir, pop the lid on, that'll help them steam. Now they will be done when they open up out of their shelves, maybe around three minutes. So pippies are done, we are going to add some of our pasta back into the pot. Give it one quick stir and then we'll be ready to serve it up and give it a try. I love that sound of the shells. Okay, moment of true <laughs> taste test time. The best part of the gig is getting to taste your wife's cooking, right? Get one of those little so. Yeah. Here we go. Mm. Good. That, that is perfect. Amazing. Oh, there you I go. Love you. South Stride Broke Pippi Pasta. Well done. Get it up. Yeah. Well.
hello. You want to show me around? Yep. Okay. I built tour guide today. Okay. Here is my bedroom with a starfish and a picture and two beds for extra. Yes. Here is mommy and daddy's bed. Great. Here is the bathroom. Okay. Oh, that looks very new. Nice new bathroom. What else is there? Okay. And here is the bedroom. Oh, this is great. And then we've got outside, we've got a fire pit and a barbecue. Should we go and have a look at that? Here's our fire pit. We'll get a fire in there later tonight, hey? And here is our barbecue. Ta-da! Excellent! And over there is the block. amenities. The amenities block, that's right. Very cool. We've just enjoyed a three night escape on the beautiful South Stradbroke Island, staying in the South Courage campground in their two bedroom beach cottage. This is an island escape like no other. I mean, it is back to basics, oh, yeah. particularly from a camping point of view. I think there's over 110 campsites to choose from across their three different campgrounds. On the far north is Tipplers, very famous. It's, you know, been there since I was a kid, we were coming to Tipplers Resort back in the day. Uh, it is now this fabulous cafe. I mean, the restaurant up there, and what they're actually mm. producing is fantastic. Yes. The seafood is incredible. They've also got this massive playground up there and there is about 70 campsites just on that camp area alone. A little bit further south to North Courage, yep. which is the second camp area, and there's about 30 camp spots there. A little bit more basic, although they do have a really great inlet so that you can bring your boats in and out. Mm. There's a jetty to offload your gear, loads of um, barbecue areas, hot showers, so still very well catered. And then about 800 metres further down the beach is where we are here in what is probably more a family orientated mm. area of the campground, South Courage. It is fantastic. It really is a water lover's playground and you have the best of both worlds here. You've got the surf beach on one side of the island, the calm waters of the broad water on the other, literally on the doorstep of the campground. I mean, every campsite has a beautiful water view. Jasper and I have loved getting out on the stand-up paddle board, splashing on the water's edge. You can get your kayaks out. We've been watching the boats come and go. Now you do need your own boat to access the island. You can, of course, hire a boat to get over here or grab a water taxi. And if you are staying up at Tipplers, they offer a ferry service from the Tipplers Cafe. Yeah, and that can pick you up either from the Runaway Bay Shopping Centre mm -hmm. or from Jacob's Well, where we've been staying the last week as well. So a pretty awesome service to get around. Yeah, sure. Walking over to the surf beach to see the sunrise this morning, mm -hmm. I mean, it's about a 10 minute walk or a little bit of a drag with Jasper at quarter past four this morning, but well worth it. And then back on this side of the island, the sunsets are Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. The highlight for us has been the native natural landscape that is here. I mean, the lack of commercial development is probably one of the best features of this island. So alongside the campsites and the cabin that we've been staying in, there are a handful of wallaby tents on offer as well. Yeah, look, these are a fairly basic tent. I mean, the idea is for those that want to come along, not bring all of that sort of gear, uh, still have a roof over your head. They are an excellent option. And again, with some incredible views back over the broad water. Uh, the other real highlight is that every site 
has its own fire pit. Yes. Now we're currently in a fire ban, so unfortunately we didn't get to enjoy this, but I think that would be one of the best parts of camping in this environment, mm. having that, you know, sundowner. Watching, oh, and watching that sunset over the broad water, just amazing. Yeah. Now they've also got a kiosk down here at the South Courage campground, which is excellent for all those little items, the things you might have forgotten, mm. you know, fire starters, lighters, drinks, icy poles, you name it, they, they really have got it all there and and coffee! <laughs> yes, they actually have two capsule coffee machines so you won't uh, be out Very without, important. without a good coffee, <laughs> so that's good. Look, another thing to remember is that being a conservation and wildlife park, no pets are allowed here, which is probably a really good thing, particularly for the, the amount of wildlife that's here. I mean, they've got wallabies, you know, roaming around everywhere, which is really fantastic particularly for the little kids to see uh, they even have a very rare golden wallaby here wow. so the rare elusive we golden haven't seen wallaby. yeah <laughs> loads of bird life i mean to be able to come to an island paradise like this so close to a bustling city like the gold coast and feel like you are worlds away i think is you know a wonderful escape and a must do thanks for watching Please do like, subscribe and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full-time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com.au. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly Go RV magazine articles and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family and happy trails. She's making it up as she goes along, people at home. Right, everything that you're saying is so good. Happy over Everest, can you hear me? <laughs> I got this, man, I can't Oh, no, don't worry, come here, there's another one in here. Something naughty, are you? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I saw you saying to Jasper that you might get an ice pole. I would never have said that to Jasper. <laughs> Should we go do it? Well, ice pole or an ice cream? What would you like? Um, you can have an ice cream or a cleanse. I'm on a cleanse, mate. What are you having? Icy bowl. Uh, all right. Have you been good? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Sure. Woo. Early. Schmelly. <laughs> Yeah.